Welcome back to another episode of News in Two Minutes, bringing you the news that you need to know every day. Let's begin. Tear gas and batons met with fireworks and Molotov cocktails in the streets of Turkey this morning as most media continued to whitewash the protests from the internet. Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan, seen in this picture as he visited the White House in May, said the protests were under control and that the country was back to normal. News organizations around the world reported that tens of thousands took to the streets today in the country's largest protests and were met with an increasingly heavy-handed response into the night. Social media sites and local news have been banned from discussing the unrest, causing many protesters to bang pots and take bricks to tin walls in a bid to bring awareness to the people of Turkey. This video from a private remote-controlled helicopter shows a city that is far from ordinary, with protesters occupying burnt buses parked to block the city streets, to industrial buildings displaying banners that translate to Shut Up Tayyip, referring to the Turkish Prime Minister by name and calling for his resignation. Legionnaire's disease, a potentially fatal form of contractable pneumonia, has been found in one of Australia's largest private hospitals. The disease, which has killed one patient and sickened several, can be caused by the inhalation of bacteria from infected air conditioning and water supplies. The discovery has forced the hospital to stop admitting new patients, cancel all surgeries, and effectively quarantine its 230 current patients until test results return in two weeks. Russia has conducted the first flight test of a new intercontinental ballistic missile that officials say is designed to defeat U.S. missile defenses. The U.S. and Russia have been at odds over America's missile defense program that the administration says will provide greater stability to engaged regions. Pictures from this dramatic video show a tank rolling through what was once a bustling downtown neighborhood. The modern complexes barely visible in the background have been laid to waste as Syria's civil war continues, with rebels announcing today that they will not attend the U.S.-Russian peace talks and insisted instead that the international community send the military to topple the Assad administration. The NSA acknowledged the accuracy of information regarding the PRISM privacy monitoring program today. The Director of National Intelligence said that the agency has filed a criminal report to determine who leaked the information saying that the disclosure violated a sacred trust within the intelligence community, without mentioning the trust of the American people. And to wrap things up, China's inflation fell more than expected, signaling a weaker economy. Venezuela's president halted a rationing plan that would have restricted food sales. And massive floods continue across Europe, as over 5,000 people have been forced to take refuge in emergency shelters. And that's it for today's News in Two Minutes. Check back tomorrow for more news that the aware need the most. This week's News in 2 Minutes is brought to you by SQMetals.com, where you'll find great deals on gold, silver, platinum, and coins from reliable people who care. Visit SQMetals.com today.